Hey everyone, if you're trying to launch Battlefield 6 open beta and you're getting the error, security violation, secure boot is not enabled, don't worry. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to fix it by enabling secure boot from your BIOS settings. Let's get started. First, open your start menu and click on the settings icon. Now in the left hand menu, click on system and then scroll down to find recovery. Under advanced startup, click the restart now button. You'll be asked to confirm, go ahead and click restart now again. This will reboot your PC into a special menu where we can access the BIOS. Once your computer restarts, you'll see a blue screen with several options. Click on troubleshoot, then select advanced options, and finally click on UEFI firmware settings. Now hit restart one more time. This will open your BIOS menu, which is where we need to go to enable secure boot. Now that you're in the BIOS, things might look different depending on your PC's manufacturer. Use your keyboard or mouse to navigate to the security tab, in some systems, it might be called Advanced or Trusted Computing. Look for the option that says Secure Boot. Click or select it, and from the drop-down menu, change the setting to Enabled. Secure Boot is a security feature that helps prevent unauthorized programs from loading during startup. That's why Battlefield 6 requires it enabled. Optional step, Enable TPM 2.0. While you're still in the security section, you can also check if TPM 2.0 is available. If it is, go ahead and enable it as well. It's not always required, but some anti-cheat systems use it for added protection. Now that you've enabled Secure Boot and optionally TPM, press F10 on your keyboard to save the changes. When prompted, select Yes to confirm and restart your PC. After your computer restarts, go ahead and launch Battlefield 6 Open Beta again. The Secure Boot is not enabled error should now be gone, and the game should work as expected. And that's it. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future fixes and tutorials. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game.